Hey guys, welcome to another video from Core cool Games. Today you find me playing Prison Architect. I know a lot of you are probably wondering why I haven't posted uh, videos in a while. It's because like uh, I've just finished GCSEs and I've cleared up some other stuff now, so now I should be able to post a lot more and a lot more frequently. So today we're starting a completely new Prison in Prison Architect. Of course, uh, we're starting out on the edge of the display screen. I know I didn't do that last time. Probably not going to go with Unlimited this time. Plus now this one also will also have the Psych Ward, a couple of other updates. And uh, we can even try the escape mode after this. It's because my other prison was like on another account. So, yeah. Starting afresh today. Hope you enjoy it. So, first of all, let's start off with choosing our warden. Probably won't be the warden, but probably the one the lobby is. Yeah, be honest. This I think a couple of these like um, new ones that come with updates. To be honest, I don't know, we could use an uh, increase in pass rate across all educational uh, programs. The thing is, it doesn't say how much. To be honest, and to be honest, once we get armor for prison guards and keep the prison calm, we don't really need to worry about health boost. Especially when we get like uh, one shot deadly prisoners. So. I don't really know about that guy. To be honest, yeah, I also plan to have like a normal prison and part of the psych ward, to be honest. I don't really know, like, we don't really need that. So, yeah, I think we might go with this person, just like, because we're going to probably have a lot of reform programs, so. Yeah, because apart from that, I don't really know, we don't really need the extra money, to be honest. I don't really. Uh, to be honest, the pacifier I guess could be kind of good, but to be honest, like a couple of uh, megaphones to keep their prisoners suppressed and armed guards, they'll do the same. To be honest, to be honest, guard dogs are already pretty good, and shakedowns can do this. So. To be honest, the reach is probably another good one. To be honest, because prisoners are less likely to be social fearless, and doubles the rate of suppression. This guy's also good to be honest. Patrick kind of wants to get out of the prisons of this just so like it's not a completely boring prison if I'm being honest. But the thing is I want a prison like where we can actually get some successful inmates like working in like workshops and reformed in their educational programs. But so he doesn't make that much of a big difference in the game so we still play it pretty normally. So I think we might stick with Liam, Liam Johns, Johnston for now. I was like the classic dog to be honest. Uh, yeah, this. I think we should stick a uh, black German Shepherd. Oh, so we could choose this to get like all dogs. So. I don't know if we want to do that. To be honest, kind of like Dobermans. We can also like uh, German Shepherds. I think we'll go with Dobermans now. Uh, doggy do. Yeah, we can leave that on just uh, for a little extra challenge. Prison size, we definitely want large. I'm, I don't want to go unlimited because I know that makes it too easy, but to be honest, I'll give myself $500,000. If, if you guys don't like this, you can let me know down below in the comments and maybe we can like our new series. But the thing is, like, 200000 I'll give myself half a million dollars to start with. Intake premiums, we can leave that. We just have legacy non destructive weather. You know what, let's start in autumn. Uh, gangs, we can leave gangs on. Fog of war off, off, off. Failure conditions. Breakout, we can leave normally. Criminal insane, we want it on. Yeah, we want dynamic reputations. Failure conditions. I don't know, I think you guys would want this on to be honest, so we can leave it on for an extra challenge. And with that, I really don't think we really have to change too much. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, we're straight in with this, so let's get to work. What I always like to do first of all, is I don't really like uh, the stuff to be right on the edge, so... And I usually build just walls around this. That's kind of basic, but I think just like, give up closing that aesthetic look. Just to make sure this area is like secure, we just build like a little wall just going around this. We can probably just like make the inside like uh like uh 
uh, gravel or something to be honest. But apart from that, we probably want the entrance to our prison to be paved with stones again. So we'll probably put it here I guess. probably want to go up to I think there's good to be honest. And I used to put stone on either side. So this will be our little path here. We're probably gonna get a little bigger to be honest. We've got quite a wide entrance there. We'll just still build this at first. I don't think we need more workers for now to be honest. Uh, eight is enough, I mean yeah. Okay, so first of all, we probably want to build a little room here. It's kind of like a little hallway, so like we have places separated into different areas. I think six by six should be good. And then like that, so we can have hallways lit off down there, there, and down there. The one thing our prison always needs is offices. We want to get our star fire pretty soon. Now what we really want to do is to be honest, so we can have offices along either side here. Don't let go overboard to be honest. So we can build some on either side there. Just four for now. And since this is gonna be a place where like most of the just normal staff work, I mean staff that don't have like to open. You can make that uh, staff doors. It's down here, I don't really know what leads there, but it's probably gonna be a staff place, so jail door there, jail door there. Now I usually leave this one open because stuff that comes in the prison will come through here and then we can put like something like metal detectors down there. So we're probably going to fill this in with uh, structure as well. Okay, so far this is coming along quite nicely. We're also going to need a power station soon to be honest. Uh, we do under high hour than now, or I think we'll let our prison get a lot more built, to be honest. So over here, to be honest, we're gonna want like a, I think we first of all what we want to do is want to get, to get normal prisoners because like they can work and do like stuff, whilst uh, psych ward prisoners can't. So we might want to like get our main prison done, and maybe psych ward could be a complete other episode. Oh, I just realised we have another office, to be honest, like this one. Is this one would be pretty good for like our warden or something, so we might build it at the end. But for now, I think what we want, since this is just going to be a normal uh, holding cell, because we've got the padded one, but we can always like change it if we want to. But for now, I think like this will be a normal entrance for uh, normal prisoners. So like the holding cell, we just want it to be close. Uh, I usually build the uh, storage kind of close here because we're going to need storage. Like stuff is dismantled and you know. Uh, we can have it there, you know. This all doesn't really have to be big, to be honest. So yeah, I think that should be good. We can like, go outside, so we can just turn it around. That way, the stuff is just left lying around in our prison. We're gonna need power, to be honest. I don't know. Like, do we want to put in that uh, comfy office? Yeah, so it doesn't really make much of a difference to be honest, it could just go here. Yeah, so we want a brick wall. It will just look different for some reason, but I'm thinking like we could put it at the end here. But I'm thinking if we want to expand it, you know. Uh, plus it's slightly smaller as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna put two more offices in here. Like just normal offices for now. We can also expand, like I usually like this area can be like a staff area and over here we'll have more of our main prison thing down here. Because we want to like build different sections for our psych warden mates. What we need now is a utility room. Like, there's a lot more pre-built rooms now, like something like this, if it could fit, would be kind of nice design. But I think we, I usually build like the reception could be down here. So what we want up here is probably like a utility room. Just build off to the right here. Get water and stuff there. We demolish this now. Just fill in the little structure here. Also, probably want to put like a door there as well. 
This house is going pretty good. So down here, we're probably going to want to have kind of normal, uh, like just a normal reception. Because both, any type of person can use a reception, so. I only want to get in with soon, so. Uh, yeah, I've already read to see this letter before, to be honest. We just need wardens. We can get hold of this. We've got half a mil, so we've got enough for an individual to ourselves. Kitchen, canteen, because these guys need to eat to stay happy. And the water. So we've got our list there. Okay, I think we can hire a warden now, so we'll still be able to work in the office without power. Of course, I'm going to go to the office I didn't select, but we've already got something. Of course, it's the OG warden, just like sitting in his chair. Yeah, now we should be able to... I don't know what we really want to research. We probably want micromanagement, to be honest, so we can research that. And we're probably going to want maintenance and security as our first couple of things. We can just have that going for now. We also probably want to run power cables, so power from there to like just to power that area. Goes to there and to there, not there, but to here. It's like the lights, they don't need to be directly connected, so everything should be able to connect up fine just through this. And then water supply, we probably want to get one big pipe coming down from there. There, we could just have it connect up to these two toilets over here. We've already got the basics of our prison done. We're gonna need a door through here. Let's just make this. Uh, what do we, we want to reception? Reception's pretty good early on. To be honest, I feel like it's something a lot of people get late on, but it's kept pretty useful to be honest. You know, and, like helping us to be able to like be able to search our prisoners. So I always like, for some reason I always get tons of contraband, so like this is just a quick way of helping to like limit that. Just put some tables like in the corners here. There's a metal detector something that can just like go here, so like anything that comes through the prison through there will get scanned. Then in here. I think that's all, yeah, that's all we really needed there. Okay, this is starting to come together now. Okay, we've got some capacitors in there, to be honest, but I don't really think we need that. We've also got sprinkler in there, so that's good. Okay, so what else do we need? Canteen and a kitchen. The thing is, I usually like to leave, we can leave this like space open. In the meantime, we let's get like a pathway down so we know where the easy are Paving stone will continue throughout here. Won't be that far, but like it can just go up to... Uh, I just noticed like the space up here is slightly bigger than the one down there. Uh, I think we should still be okay to be honest. So this means you can put like a little grass in on that side. Probably want to build up to there. Everything up to there. We so just fill this thing with stone. And usually in like extra areas you can just put a little greenery in there. It's like so for some grass to be honest. Just to liven things up a little bit. Also makes just helps to improve the aesthetics of our prison. Apart from that, I don't really know what we want to have up here to be honest. I don't know, we could build more offices. So because the prison side we want to keep this area like for more like staff, you know, it's like it's more secure away from our prisoners. So to be honest, here we could have something like uh, if we research medical, we can have like a first aid station here. So health, I mean. Then we could have this as like a little infirmary, just far away from like most of our prisoners. Staff board there. No, I like, think get contraband. Right now, this place still needs a canteen, but we should still be all right. I don't think. Yeah, we don't need extra capacitors for now, to be honest. It just needs to be connected. Okay, so just waiting for the warden to finish research and health. So we'll go to rooms. We need, unfortunately, we are going to probably need the more. We don't really have the greatest track record for keeping all my staff and prisoners alive, so... Okay, let's first get an infirmary, which we'll definitely get in the need. 
Yeah, we'll make it all of the room for now because the morgue doesn't have to be too big. Just put some beds there. Uh, how big do we want our morgue to be? Probably wants to be three to be honest. Like three rooms, so I just we have like a little space to walk and the uh, slabs can go in. That, yeah. So we can just have like that. You probably want to water so because you probably the prisoners and stuff probably don't want to be like in the infirmary and just be able to see the dead bodies, so build a brick wall there. Remove those lights. And we can have a jail door separating it from there. I think that's a pretty good design for our uh, family and morgue. The floor and I you think the fancy tiles really look good in the infirmary to be honest? We can have those like in the infirmary over here. And then we can have uh, white tiles over here in the infirmary and more. That's very good, you got that set up. I'm trying to think of more rooms that you wouldn't want too close to your prisoners but that they're still gonna need kind of access to. So like canteen style, there's a good room, chapel, common room, deliveries. Not too much that we really want to be over here to be honest. We have parole rooms up here, but for now I don't think we really need those to be honest. We haven't even got prisoners in. So with that we probably want to build like little pathways up here. Just so like we know like where everything's gonna go so we don't like build over anything. So if we like so we probably want our path to continue. So grass will be there, stone will be there, and our main path will be going up here. And there. Uh, We'll probably have something going down here as well. So we've got a two wide gap on there, let's start building our cells. I don't know, do I want to build any kind of luxury cells? Because I know for like Psych Ward inmates, I usually build like, because I have played like the Psych Ward a little bit before, if I'm being honest. A little bit, I didn't make like the best prison, but yeah. I usually make their cells like, a uh, three by three to be honest. Because I know like, they need the more spacious. Yeah, right now we don't really want to focus on that, so I think we might just want to give them basic cells for now. If I'm being completely honest. Because I don't think we really need anything fancy in them, so... Uh, I don't know, do we want to give them better cells or... At least we can build a normal cell block here to be honest, and then like, uh, we can like, uh... We can uh, have another cell block for prisoners say we want to treat a little better, like if they're like the behavior meets the standards of it. So let's do five cells, so that way in each cell block there'll be like about ten inmates. I think that's pretty good because then like one guard could like just be patrolling along there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Along the middle we're gonna want structure, I think. Just that way so it's a it's a good cell block. There's no way like if we leave the space up here we can always expand it to be honest. And I think we're gonna want one more of those on the other side, then we can build a canteen and like have another cell block on the other side to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good design if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think our eight workmen should be able to handle that. I'm also going to get this uh, hooked up to power to be honest. To be honest, I know when I like build prison arc, like some players play prison arc, it's kind of nice, you know, when you build your prison first and like uh, bring in the inmates later, but to be honest, that would make for a really boring series. And you know, like we make exciting content over here on Core Games. So I would just like to remind that if you are enjoying, I would really appreciate it if you could spend a little time to subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell and like if you are enjoying. And give me stuff you might want me to do in the future or things I could improve on down in the comments. I'm always uh, open to constructive criticism. Okay, so I think it, I know they can tunnel down big pipes. That's true. We may also want to get like a uh, fence in. Like we can buy like a cheap fence just to go around, so we don't have to get a big uh, expensive perimeter fence. And yeah, just like that, we should be able to uh, get just 20 prisoners in. 
I don't know, can we fit like a shower on the other side down here? I think we can, so just build this opposite then. We can just build two right now, so we've got options. Yeah, the quick rooms are kind of useful for stuff that, you know, like, it'll be kind of a lengthy process to just have to be placing down shower head after shower head. So the quick rooms do get are pretty nice, and especially since they fit in with the rest of the design. So, like, we just connect these up to, uh, maybe the pipes and just fill in, like, these gaps here. It would make more sense if the drains had to be connected to pipes, you know, but I won't question it. And we just need, I think, yeah, we're gonna need power in here, so. And then let's fill in the rest of the pathways. Okay, so far, okay, we've gone some rain. Okay, so let's build up to there, there. And I think having, like, the little outdoors area in the prison is gonna be quite nice, to be honest. I usually build it kind of even, but it's it kind of nice that we have a little like space, like build some grass on the upper side of like the pathway area. The stone will like go up to here and here. Like we have like little grass and little. Corn. I don't think that actually does anything for the prisoners, if I'm being honest. But just like it looks good in our prison, you know. And that's like kind of a low-key thing you kind of want in your prison, so. So yeah, just gonna build up here and this long here. It's probably just gonna be because like there's not gonna be any like back doors into the prison or anything like that. So and then we can build like across here. So well, let's fill in the grass over here. And yeah, let's slow things down so we're not wasting time. Okay, so far that's looking really good. So over here, I'm thinking we want to build like a little. Uh, little uh what do you call it uh canteen to be honest because we need our prisoners to say i think a 16 wide is pretty good so yeah so yeah i think if we build it along here it will look nice and good that way we can have to play So yeah, if we just build a canteen along here, to speed this up a little bit, that should be pretty good. Yeah, so far our building is looking pretty good to be honest. I think like these little pathway features look pretty nice. And then down here for now, we could leave it open or... Yeah. So yeah, we can have a canteen. And then we can hire some doctors later. We already have 679 coming in nice now. So let's fill in the floors over here. I don't know why they come as like default on the doors to like concrete tiles, but you know. Just sort of the same with concrete flooring. It's overcast now, which is probably like one of the worst drivers. This makes everything look kinda of gloomy if I'm being honest. Okay, our canteen's done. We need it even so it can have a door like right in the middle there, I think that's e uh, even. We just need them to place a door there, yeah it's even. And we can like uh, build a little uh, little kitchen there. We just have some doors in the middle there. Because we're probably going to want to have prisoners working in our canteen to be honest. Because this is like uh, where we're going to keep like regular uh, inmates. And as cycled inmates like they can't really do much to be honest. Which makes sense to be fair. So we're going to want to make this a canteen. Probably just going to be taking in minimum security and uh, uh, regular security inmates, to be honest. Some food tables there. So if we build like the benches ac across some like the walls there. Just want to see how everything fits in, to be honest. We have one there. Oh yeah, so I think we got the perfect measurements for this. Everything fits in pretty nicely. We'll connect power up to this soon enough. We've only got room for 27 inmates, including like a. Uh, 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 holding cell. Something to be honest, we also want to like uh, build like little walls for a section where inmates can have showers and toilets. Because sometimes, you know, if they don't like uh, finish showering on time before, they would like to do it like whilst in canteen. So we just build some walls like this. 
We can have like uh, toilets on one side, showers on the other side. Don't really think there's much room for anything else now. Let me just can't really fit in here much else to be honest. But I think that's enough. So let's just get some more stuff. So we're gonna want showers on this side. And we're probably also gonna want uh just going to find like, some quicker way to yeah. So I'm going to want toilets on this side, just so in case like they do want to go, they have easy access. I don't know if they fix it, but sometimes when you put doors in front of them, like it, it deletes the room underneath, like when you try to make it a canteen. So to me, so I can just leave it like that, to be honest. I don't really know if we need that many, because I don't want it to be restricted, so actually, I'm just going to like, cancel the walls on this side. And we can dismantle the toilets or cancel the toilets and shower on this side. I think that just leaves a more space. We don't really need much. And then we also need uh, drains so, like, uh, when our prisoners use the showers, they don't flood. Okay, let's get some power. Yeah, right now I don't really think we need any capacitors. To be honest, our kitchen doesn't have to be too big right now. I've just made it big, so if we ever do choose to like expand anything like in here, we'll be alright. So let's make this a kitchen. I don't know, I want to actually be exploring. There is that like checker floor that's always good for kitchen. Oh yeah, that is. Oh look, they even say it's perfect for canteens or kitchens. Let's just make that and we can find kitchens in the room section. There it is. Okay, so we're probably going to want like a couple of uh, cookies on that side, so let's place three there. And then we can have fridges over here. In the middle, we're gonna need bins so we can have a uh, normal bin, cycling bin because we care for the planet. Then here we can have we can have two sinks on either side, so one there and another one there. And we can have another fridge and another cooker. Oh no, do we need sprinklers? No, the thing is, uh, it's not gonna look symmetrical if I put sprinklers. I, I know that sounds weird, but you know. Plus we can put them in later too. I think there's a, a a ground that you need to like have sprinklers like installed like in certain areas. So. so let's connect all these things up here as well to power. We just need water for our sinks and stuff, so that's easy enough to connect. Yeah, we also need to connect all the stuff down here as well. I think that weird thing where like the rooms are on top of walls, like I can see the pattern. Then now it's gone. That's looking pretty good so far. So once we get this, I think we're ready to uh, allow our first inmates in. building the kitchen as we speak. The only thing is with a uh, limited uh, fence, like they can also get contraband. Don't know, do we want to do that? We can stop build that later on because I think now it's 9.20 a.m. So if we order prisoners now, they will come in by tomorrow. Let's get 14 normal security. I don't know, when we, the thing is with minimum security, I don't know if they're worth it because a lot of the times they could be like, uh, they could be, uh, they could be like protective custody. So like they could be stuff like cop killers, which isn't really protective custody to be honest. Or they could be like ex cops, you know, but cop killers just make them like guards are more likely to kill them, so Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it to bring them in right now. I don't really feel like bringing in maximum security. So for now we'll bring us actually should we bring it in? Oh yeah, I think that can scan to that or now if we bring that in that's a total of like twenty three, so we need all the money we can get right now, so yeah. Mm. 
Is it not to chat? So yeah guys, I was just saying like we can start grants now, so if we go to grants. Basic detention center. If we do that, all we need is a yard. Oh yeah, yard, we need yards and stuff. Almost forgot about that to be honest. Let's just hire two jobs for now. Just to get things started. And then we need to work on a quick yard to be honest. Almost forgot about that, because right now I almost forgot the prisons that you're gonna need stuff to do, so it's a good thing I already looked at that. So yeah, it's pretty basic to be honest. We just build something over here like this. I don't know, if we could if I build let me just uh pause quickly and just lay out some stuff and see how it would look. So if we just leave that area I'm just trying to like measure it out using the concrete because we can't actually place. If like we're there, I could build a passage there. I was thinking if we could build a pathway and then like so our yard is in line with our canteen. So it's fine. So yeah, yard's pretty simple to be honest. We don't actually even need anything to make it a yard. Oh, this is quick rooms. We could build this if we really wanted to. But I kind of like designing our own yard better. So if we just make all from this. I think we should make it 16 by, uh, I think our kitchen is also 6, oh that was an accident but I just want to measure how big our kitchen is. It's 14 by 16 which is I think what we want our yard to be. That's pretty good. To be fair we can just expand it to the very end if we want but that's something we can do later. So now we just want to have uh, fenting, fenting around it. So. Yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. Then we can have a door there. Of course, our classic paving stone pathways. These are up to there and the canteen. Okay, we can put grass in the yard later, maybe. And there's some stone along here and here. This, this prison is starting to come together nicely though, I'm going to be honest. Okay, let's just speed things up a bit. We also probably want to hire two chefs to be honest. Probably going to need at least one doctor for now. Just in case anyone gets hurt. And then we can, I don't know, should we hire, because we're probably going to want some more security, so we can hire a chief now. And start to research some more security. I think what we're going to want to do is we want deployment. And that's what we really want for now, to be honest. Okay, so in the yard we want to give them uh, I think we want to give them a, uh, I don't know there, I need flooring. Because I think, yeah, we've got the money to give them a grass floor, to be honest. We just go like that. You can just give them some grass flooring because we're nice like that. Paving stone. Okay, deployment's complete. I'll just make it easier. It's like we can have guards deployed to cell blocks, you know. This helps to keep the prisoners in control. We just fill the rest of this in with grass. I think I like what we've done with like the little grass areas. They look nice. That's true. We also probably want to get uh, construction so we can get. Uh, a janitor to be honest. I don't know, uh, I thought I, I heard the truck noise and thought like our prison might be arriving. It's only 3.20 pm in game. We now have foreman as well. What we really need now is cleaning and groundskeeping. Cleaning will also be useful, but we can get that later to be honest. And now warden. We want prison policy and psychology next. It says there's no canteens accessible, but if we go to logistics, catering, just link those up, and we're good. Because it's funny how your yard literally needs nothing, like it's just like some open space, but I don't really think our prisoners deserve that, at least not yet, so if we just put some wheat benches in the top here, some punching bags to give them something they I can actually punch without getting in trouble. Put some uh, phones on the wall like area here. Just put like five of those there. You know, we want a bench there or. 
Oh uh, yeah, we can put like some the tire things down here maybe. Or oh, up here, I don't know where do we want them. I think it's just as good. Reaches are kind of just like benches, like they just like sit on like the other way to be honest, so just put those in the corner. Then a normal like benches here, but we can use like the old small benches. No, uh, how do we want to do this? We could do it like this to be honest. Actually no. We want to do space because once again like the prisoners may want to use like the facilities like a shower and uh, go for it, so we're going to leave some space to just build that down there. But for now that's a pretty decent looking yard if I do say so myself. So if we just uh, do some structure, we can just make this little corner, uh, like have space just like showering and stuff. Yeah, we can just do that. We'll retire one gem because our prison isn't like completely dirty when uh, our prisoners arrive. We can just actually, you know, let's just leave it at that. Prison policy, I think just we can look over that later, but that just lets us change a couple of stuff. For now, our prisoner, I our prison is fully functioning. Okay, let's just uh, get this uh, holding cell linked up, to be honest. Please, I think I'm actually going to reduce the amount of uh, normal mates, so if... 20 are gonna be there, so let's just get six of these guys so no one's actually in the holding cell. Yeah, there's 20 coming in. Because the holding cell we really want to use like in times like we need money to like store prisoners temporarily. So just so no one's in there to be honest. Apart from that, let's speed things up because they're kind of need to get things going. So we've got gangs enabled, so like they could claim this. We're only two guards right now, so. Oh cool, we actually completed that grant. Uh, what do we need? Health and well-being. Well, we can up unlock some more grants later on, to be honest. In the meantime, let's just, I'm just speeding things up because I don't really think we need that. We can build a quick common room, to be honest, you know. Don't know where you'd want to build that, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of wanted to build a fence, but the way things are going, like we're probably just going to end up building... Uh, walls all around this thing, so let me just make sure this is uh, in line with that. Then that can be our common room. Just get that constructed. You can have normal doors. The prisoners can just walk in and out as they please. That's the thing. Like when you try to build a. Uh, Stuff on fences, you know, it all glitches for some reason. Just build some walls and stuff. This is going to be arriving in 12 hours, so we need to be ready for them. So you can only want showers, like, we can have a little, like, normal shower area right there. And then we can just have like toilets on the other side. Mm. And as like, time progresses, we can also get stuff like death row, so. We can never move one tower. So I think it's okay to have the showers next to each other, too, so the toilets will give them their privacy. Just build little walls in between that. I want to demolish this. Fence in the place there. And then we just want to build this one that piece of grass. We just need to make this all yard as well. Is that, and then we just need to connect this to water. We also need to connect that TV to uh, power. Just like this, everything's connected there. We can just build a structure on top of that. In the meantime, let's make the inside there, come and move. 
Time goes on, we can also get stuff like cleaning rooms. Let's just slow things down, our prisoners are going to be arriving really soon. It's funny how even a common room doesn't actually need anything either way. It can literally just be a room inside with absolutely nothing. You can have a pool table like in the corner over there. Or Let's just place one there. Maybe like a TV and a radio. We can give them like a boom box. I'll give them a radio for now. Painting on the wall. Something that kind of looks like the Mona Lisa. I can't really tell. Uh, glass window. Uh, yeah, so what else? Yeah, we need sofas so we can have like sofas looking at the TV like that. So you know they can just like get in and like watch some TV. I thought we moved those a little forward to be honest, so everything got just pressed up against the walls. Actually you know, we'll leave it like that. I want the painting to be right on the edge, so I'll just move it to here. And then we can make a uh, flooring. This is a common room, I don't know really what flooring they would like. Imagine wooden floor is probably as good as any to go with, so give them that. Because that's why I don't want too many prisoners. We could start construction on the little fence now. Yeah, to be honest, our workers aren't going to be doing much, so we might as well just build a quick fence, to be honest, just so we're at peace of mind. So if they are going to escape, because I don't, it's going to be really hard then for them to dig without us being detected, you know. Especially because there's not much digging tools available to them right now. So that way, so we can leave road gates, but just have them locked open, because we haven't got much guards right now, so they're just not running up and down trying to unlock these gates. And yeah, so far, guys, I think this is going to be one of our most successful prisons, prisons yet. Okay, we are in a negative for money, so right now, so we really do need those inmates to show up. Should be here any minute, to be honest. Because at some point, we can also build a laundry, to be honest, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm leaving this side open because I kind of want it to be symmetrical. We can have another cell block over there. We can also take over common rooms and stuff, and this needs to be moved to storage at some point. Yeah, that storage is kind of filled up. Ah. Things are looking good so far. I'm not going to do any guard deployment or anything like that. Yeah, we can't hide anymore. Yeah, we've got yards, the prisoners have like stuff to do. We're gonna want drains actually now that I think about it. And I see the quality of our cells too low. Oh cool, our prisoners are actually arriving now. Alright. Finally, they're actually just all walking in. I can open it to the store for them. This is pretty good. We have more money now, so we can hire more guards if we're gonna need it. Let's bring it up to. Oh, let's bring it up to eight guards. Okay, so our prisons really come together right now. We found a full corner of them, could be worse. I don't really think, want to think of where they were hiding that during the bus ride over here, but you know. So, yeah, eight guards there, kind of overfilled now because they they're outnumbered the prisoners. Yeah, one guy had drugs, a little worse. That's true, actually, we don't even have a solitary section now that I think about it. We can just build a little, we can, we can build up, now we will build out of our normal stuff. Like, uh, just put kind of the theme we've gone with. We look incidents, two are waiting solitary, yeah, so that they're not just sitting around to be honest. Uh, so, the thing is with solitary, I want to put like beds in there, like the guys who get in there quite a while. So if we build it like 2x2, I'm just trying to measure it out. So if we build it like this, I don't know why I did that, but just build it along here. And just have it uh, come out to about here. And yeah, like that. And we'll just have like a single door to just get into the solitary section. So they actually measure that, so hopefully everything fits in nicely. I don't actually, I don't, I think it's just slightly uneven. We can demolish some stuff later on. 
So to do this, so we don't have enough meals to be honest. Do we need to hire more chefs or? Okay, they're making food now, but we can hire more chefs. We can hire two more. And also one more doctor. One more janitor. One more Three janitors. Okay, this is why I wanted to build a fence. We've already got one guy making a run for it. Luckily, they actually have built the fence, luckily, so he. Oh, that's true, there's still tons of it, but. Our guards should hopefully catch up to him. I'm gonna hire some staff in his path because the guards take some time to react, so. Hopefully, that guard could stop him. Yeah, anyway, that's why we needed an infirmary. And this is why I don't trust my prisoners. Yes, I can just. Because if I lock them open, to be honest, like. I think it makes prisoners more likely to want to escape, like, once they see that uh, things locked open. I'm just gonna cancel this bit up here until, like, we get the rest of this. Because I guess right now they're just focusing. Because we can hire more, uh, workmen now. Just, just two more. Oh, this guy's awaiting in solitary. Okay, to make sure no prisoners aren't just sitting around doing nothing, to be honest. Let's make two of these uh, cells, because I think these two look empty, to be honest, so... Let's just make these two solitary quickly. Because the thing is, if they're standing around too long, they won't get fed whilst they're just standing there. It's like, since they don't start there, because I have a record of that happening for some reason. Okay, it's eating time. Yeah, it's saying we don't have enough food to feed our prisoners. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps doing this, like, saying there's no prisoners assigned to eat here. Because, like, they're literally all linked up now. Like, something I did, like, in security stuff is not allowing them to move, or... Because everything's shared by default, so... Pretty sure it's just in the regime as well. Like, it's eat time now. This is weird, because if they don't eat soon enough, they're actually all going to die, and that'll be a pretty bad start, to be honest, so... Okay, so I just deleted those, and now let's redo it. That's really weird, to be honest. I'm going to try save and exit, and see if that works, because hopefully it does. So far, prison's off to a pretty amazing start. Okay, so let's load back in now. Sometimes that's just all it takes for some reason. Oh wait, already loaded into the wrong prison. So hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about earlier. So basically, guys, what happened when I tried to log out to fix this little area of our cells not linking up? It appears the prison didn't save, or I might not have clicked the correct save button. So don't worry. Luckily, I've managed to rebuild all of it from the footage I had earlier. So we're just kind of going to carry on from where I left off. As you can see, a couple of stuff's just been built now, and I've built everything basically to the exact same way it was earlier, except for hiring staff. So I'm just going to do that quick, real quick. I know we're just researching some of the stuff because I was literally just focusing on rebuilding everything from the footage I have. Luckily, we didn't make too much progress, but I'll try not to make that mistake in the future. I've made a backup copy of this prison now, so but luckily if it doesn't save, it should now though. But it'll still have a backup to continue from. And with that, I think we're going to start hiring the staff we need. I'm going to try and just do it like the same. So we wanted... So I'm going to try calling uh, prisoners and everything now. And it's slightly different from last time, of course, because I can't change everything. But we can get 10 of those and just... 7 prisoners of these or... Yeah. Because I just noticed the prisoners are literally coming in right now. But that's pretty good, to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna hire two guards, two doctors, two nurses. Actually, since the prisoners have arrived, we can hire more guards now. Let's hire ten quickly. We've got two cooks. Yeah, we need to hire. Uh, okay, so we're just researching maintenance and stuff now, so we can clean up the prison. Apart from that, guys, everything should be exactly the same. I built the prison to basically the exact same uh, thing we built last time, so should be alright in that. 
little changes maybe here and there, but apart from that, everything is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna hire our foreman quickly. So we can get a private cleaning done. Apart from that, everything is exactly the same. Apart from this, it's still saying there are no canteens accessible. Which is kind of weird to be honest, but I'm sure we'll figure that out shortly. I'm just gonna change these doors back to the tiny I think it doesn't look too good when they extend it too far. We've also got our fence around. I haven't put perimeter gates in yet, but yeah. This guy needs solitary, so. That was one thing we were going to do last time, but then like uh, the prison didn't save, of course. I'm just going to make one cell quickly solitary so they don't starve whilst they're waiting. In the meantime, I'm just going to try and see. We should have logistics open now, so we should be able to manually uh, link up the canteens to the prison now. The, the cells. And cool, that problem seems to be solved now, so that's good. So yeah, apart from that, everything is exactly the way it was, guys. Because I think I'm going to move this little uh, section of the yard over a little bit. Just realize we don't have clone yet, actually. So if we go into uh, the bureaucracy, we can quickly have that researched as well. And we want to get deployment, which is what we had last time. We also research psychology and finance as well. Looks like we have two prisoners trying to escape quickly. I'm just going to hire a guard quickly to block this one's path over here. And one down here as well. Okay, Stevenson seems to still be running, so we're going to hire a couple more guards as well. Hopefully they help us slow down. Okay, they've got that covered. This guy's still making a break for it. I'm going to put one guard in on there and see if we can stop it enough. And one person has escaped. Apart from that guys, I think everything else is going pretty smooth to be honest. So I think we're going to call it for the first episode. Of course we had a little disruption so I'll probably just get those things a little sorted out like that. Yeah, uh, next episode we'll probably start on further expanding the prison. Don't worry, I'll make sure to save it this time. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Tell me things I can improve on down below in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video.